and about a quarter of you that responded anyway said a Boss Katana. So I reached out to Boss and they very kindly agreed to sponsor this video. So they sent me a Boss Katana Mark II, 100 watt version. But not only that, they also sent the foot switch and the expression pedal that goes with it. How cool is that? Now this amp is packed with features. You'll see some of them here. But what really stood out for me when I was reading through the, uh, the instruction booklet that it's got over 60 effects built in. 60 effects, right? And you can chain together up to five effects. You've also got five different amp tones, I think 10 with a variation on each, and eight preset banks that you can um, set up your own rigs, basically. So I've thrown together five grunge-related pedal boards using the free Boss Tone Studio software in the hope of showcasing some of the tones that you can get from this beast. So enough chat. Let's start with some Nirvana. Obviously we gotta do Teen Spirit. So clean tone, dirty tone, and a bit of chorus. Let's run through that. So here's the clean tone. <laughs> as you like isn't it and then the modulation I've set that to a chorus and that's perfect for the verse maybe a bit of reverb and then the distortion pedal comes in with that and then take the chorus off again pretty cool man now if you take a look at what i've set up here you can see you've got booster mod fx and delay and i've got two green ones so booster is green uh, modulation is green so that's the distortion and the chorus and then if we go over to the effects side see i've got that yellow one highlighted so that goes yellow because you've got three options there i could that could be a phaser or that could be a flanger or whatever else, right? You've got three effects that you can you can chuck into each of those categories and have all five running together. Amazing stuff, right? So it gives you a bit more flexibility, but I've gone for a slightly different chorus setting. So the first chorus setting sounds like this. Not bad, but it's nowhere near wobbly enough. So I've set another more complex um, chorus, this DC-30. Now under the booster section, you can see I've got the distortion set right, but what if we wanted to play something with a bit of fuzz? Because Kurt does do that in a few tunes. Simply select my fuzz. So that becomes the red option now when I turn on the booster. I've got fuzz instead of that distortion tone, so perfect for... <laughs> Next up, let's do some Alice in Chains, shall we? Some superb tones to be had there. Now, I've got two um, separate pedal boards, if you like, or separate patches for the clean and the dirt, because the clean, um, I want to add a, a little bit of natural overdrive and a bit of flanger, because it's not a super clean tone, and some reverb. So I've got all of that in this one patch. <laughs> I 
which is lush. And then for the distorted part, I just switch over to the next channel like this. <laughs> a wah part in the next bit right so you'll see that in fx channel which i've just engaged you can hear <laughs> very wary right <laughs> but what if you don't have an expression pedal no worries check it out in um, modulation I've set auto wire one in yellow, right? So we can just use that. Let's just take the reverb off so you can hear the game. a massive sound and I'm going straight out of the USB port straight into my computer there's no other like processing at all going on now I'm going to tweak that ever so slightly to get a subtle man in the box tone so I'm going to bring the gain down to about 30 let's say and then if we go to the booster see there's quite a lot of low end I'm going to make that minus nine right just a couple of simple little tweaks and then you've got another cool little tone <laughs> Great stuff. So, time for a bit of Pearl Jam action. distortion on for the chorus. <laughs> and then if we go over to Mike's setting right which is again clean tone to go to the effects section yep just clean we've got all that good stuff right Put a bit of distortion on. Bit of wah. Maybe a 
yeah, I've gone way over the top on the, uh, the the uni vibe there, but it sounds great and it's loads of fun. I've got one more Pearl Jam riff to show you and it's not this one. But that is awesome. So you may be wondering why I've got tremolo in the FX column. Why would Stone have that? He doesn't use a tremolo. <laughs> So on the album version of Jeremy, Stone's guitar has a little bit of tremolo on it. How much more lush does that sound than... Versus... Amazing. I always used to... Um, Use that whenever we played that live. I love it. Let's do a bit of sound garden, shall we? So obviously, I mean, there's a clean, I've gone for the clean amp type, but we've got to play this one, haven't we? Turn that off, bit of distortion. Man, sounds massive. Now if we go for this octave setting, which is playing an octave below what I'm playing up here. Turn it off. Tweak the booster settings there. I'm using a rat type pedal. So you can get that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Now, one thing I would say is that you can go to town on the tweakability of this stuff. All the effects have tons of parameters and there's um, a really powerful EQ as well. I didn't do any of that. I didn't touch any of that. I just spent about an hour to two hours doing all of these patches just to get in the ballpark because I think it's important that you don't have to be a trained like sound engineer to get decent tones out of a piece of equipment. So um, hopefully that was a fair representation of what you can achieve yourself. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.